if you are a researchers who have to deal with the surveys then designing the surveys gathering data against these surveys and evaluating these data is a very hectic task and take a lot of time and effort and sometimes cause a lot of frustrations because you are not much familiar about the methods and you are adopting sometimes old methods which are time taking and frustrating so today we are going to use a very quick method that how you can design your surveys collect the data and then evaluate the data by using AI tools this will decrease your time and effort and will result in the form of a quality data in your hands and we are going to do all this with two tools the one is chat GPT and other is a Google Docs and forms so they, they both are free the first step is that we will open chat GPT and feed it against our query our query should be defined the survey form which we are going to develop should be aligned with our research problem and research questions and we should feed chat GPT about our level of degree our target audience with which we are going to conduct this survey and the research problem and what we have in our survey form if you are particular about the information you want to include in I have feed it I'm a PhD student conducting research on the challenges faced by non-native English speaker in learning English as a foreign language and its impact on their professional advancement I'm seeking to survey conduct at Lahore University for example so you have to specify the university this study will include both undergraduate and graduate student and like I feed it that I mean my survey form should include some yes or no questions um, MCQs question and some open-ended questions your, your survey form should be easy to solve easy to address because when you have a lot of uh, data to fill in then definitely it's hard for people to write a lot of information so you should to be know about the survey form as this is not my field of study so I'm not sure about but the information I'm putting in just to make you clarity that you can feed it as much as possible and you can get as customized result from chat GPT so as you can see we have some demographic information what is your current level of education and what is your field of study these are the MCQs based questions and then we will have some yes and no questions and then we will have some open-ended questions so we have all type of data and we can change this information by just repeating the prompt and giving it more precise and concise information we want to have in our survey form but you can see this is very good and accurate good to go you can make changes so as you can see we have some demographic information what is your current level of education and what is your field of study these are the MCQs based questions and then we will have some yes and no questions and then we will have some open-ended questions so we have all type of data and we can change this information by just repeating the prompt and giving it more precise and concise information we want to have in our survey form but you can see this is very good and accurate good to go you can make changes then you have to copy this form and have to paste it in your uh, Google Doc and make it a clarity like you have mentioned some uh, kind of uh, uh, information in the beginning uh, for the student to be filled in and after, you can even develop these kind of a tables uh, from chat GPT and after developing this you will move towards a Google form. Now, this Google uh, Google form is going to make your survey process more easy because in this case you just have to share the link with the audience in the in the survey groups in the whatsapp groups in the Facebook groups in the communities and you will get the data first you have to generate this you have to add some information you can title it and then you have to add the sections like for example I want to add the section and here I can change the type of question I want to include I can I want to include a short answer paragraph multiple choice check boxes drop down or uh, file upload option multiple choice grid check box grid any type of a questions you want to generate here Google form gives you that option so you can generate it like for example as you can see I have some short questions and then some MCQs and then some yes and no and even I have some open-ended question or not maybe in this um, form when you have generated this form and you have done with this form you can connect this form with the Google sheet you don't have to chase the people to get the sheets back and to collect your data back you just have to share the link and you will see all of your data here in the form of a charts and in the form of infographics even you can see this data in Google sheet where this will be arranged in table of form like this is the all data have been arranged in the form of a very smart tables which are very easy to use for data analysis and to understand the data which you have collected now you have designed your questionnaire you have collect the data by using Google Docs and chat GPT now how you can evaluate your data by using free version of chat GPT 
again you have to copy the data like for example this is the data which I have collected for productivity test and I just have to copy this column and I will feed chat GPT I will again feed him about the type of uh, studies I'm conducting with the level of degree in which I'm enrolled in ask chat GPT to analyze this data analyze give me the trends in percentage uh, like uh, rather than giving the numbers it's better that we will get the results in percentage so you can specify again here that uh, evaluate this thing see the effect of this one on this thing you want to change the trend of discussion according to your requirement so you ask chat GPT to write the discussion on these results so this is the result which I get this result from the University of students so these are the result index 70% student take English proficiency test such as a TOEFL or IELTS and this is the participant improvement programs and this is the current test preparation stress and anxiety related to test implementation and recommendation so you can short this information you can expand this information you can make it according to your requirement but chat GPT is going to help you to analyze any form of a data which is available in the form of a text and number you just have to feed it copy the data paste it here it will analyze the columns and draws from the tabular data you don't need to specify the data in columns and rows just copy the table and paste it here and then command it that I want to interpret this data in this context and it will analyze it according to your requirement I hope so this video is going to help you and to explore that how you can evaluate quantitative data with the help of a chat GPT and how you can make your process easy and fast if you like this video don't forget to share with others and don't forget to subscribe my channel which is going to help you to improve in your academic writing and practical research and also exploring some transferable skills for you on which you can look beyond than academic career options stay in touch we'll see you in another video till then take care of yourself bye bye